everybody, it's Lily, and today I'm going to be turning my old art into a comic. So this comic is the first comic that I've made in quite a while. I wanted to separate it into six different panels. So I took a ruler and I measured a page from my sketchbook. I measured it into thirds lengthwise and in half heightwise. And then I put um, some blocks at the bottom for the text. I made those an inch tall. And so for these panels, I decided the first panel, I just wanted to have just a normal trash can in an alleyway, possibly with the text, nothing to see here. The second panel, I wanted the trash can to start rattling. And the third panel, I wanted the little creature to peek out of the trash can. Fourth panel, I decided I wanted the um, trash can creature to start sprouting its wings. The fifth panel, it would be flying away. And then the sixth panel, it would be an empty alleyway and it would say nothing to see here again. So it's kind of like a full circle there. So I then started drawing the actual panels and I looked up references for pretty much everything in this comic. Um, I looked up a reference of a trash can, a metal trash can, because I wanted it to look still cartoony, but more accurate to an actual trash can. And I looked up um, a reference of an alleyway and a lot of alleyways have brick walls and brick buildings. So I wanted the background to be kind of a brick color. I realized that doing the background flyers and things like that was kind of, um, it was just kind of a lot of repetition and it got old pretty quickly. In the future, if I were to do something like this again, if I weren't doing it digitally, because digitally I could just copy and paste it and just, you know, have all of the panels done by drawing one, I would use a light box and I would make one panel and I would copy the, it to the rest of the panels so they'd be very consistent. So I had a hard time with these flyers in the background looking kind of inconsistent. I also looked up references of wings because I wanted this creature's wings to look more like a bird rather than like the weird kind of weird angel, cartoony angel wings that I did for the old art when I was like 13 or something. I also wanted to create a sense of movement so I really tried my best to make this creature look like it was pushing off the ground when it starts flying away. So for the lining, I used a Faber-Castell pit fine liner in small, and I tried my best to make this lining not so messy, but it turned out, it turned out all right. I messed up on a couple areas, and later I would just use the white jelly roll pen to draw on top of it, and then the marker actually sits on top of the white jelly roll pen pretty good too. After I was done lining this drawing, I went on to coloring and I was using alcohol-based art markers. Wanted this entire comic to have a warm feeling, so I chose warm tones um, for the background. I chose kind of a brick color and a warm gray for the ground. I chose lots of greens and yellows and peaches for the flyers. I wanted to make sure that the trash can looked shiny, so I used um, a combination of a, a light gray and a darker gray in a way to make it look more shiny. So I put the dark gray in the middle and on the sides of the trash can and put the lighter gray on top to make it have that really shiny look to it. For the background, I wanted to add some bricks. I was debating whether I wanted to leave it the way it is or add some detail, and it seemed like it just needed some extra detail. So I first drew the all of the bricks on the first panel, and I wanted all of these bricks to be consistent. And I learned from drawing the posters that if I were to just freehand it, it wouldn't be consistent. So I tried using a light box and it actually was super helpful. I took a sheet of tracing paper, put it on top of the first panel, I traced the bricks, and then I put the tracing paper behind the next five panels and traced the bricks onto those panels. Honestly, doing these bricks took such a long time, both drawing and coloring, but I, I think it was worth it. So when I was coloring the bricks, Again, I wanted to use warm colors, and so I tested swatches, and because I knew that I would be putting these brown colors on top of the color that I already had down, 
I did a test where I put down the background color and I put different colors of brown on top just to see what they would look like on top of this this color before I, you know, dedicated certain bricks to those colors. I looked at references on how differing colored bricks kind of work in brick walls and I tried arranging them in a random fashion but a balanced fashion. So I tried make, making sure that all of the colors were evenly distributed but not in like a systematic way. And then after doing the first panel I just repeated it for each subsequent panel and I did a little Time lapse for you guys so you don't have to watch me color every single panel. So details in this comic, I think that the bricks added a lot of nice visual interest and pattern into these comics and it was making the other things in the comic look kind of boring. And so I decided the ground needed some work and the posters definitely needed something on them. I am tried making colorful blobs on each of the posters and I made up my own kind of little language that is really means kind of nothing to put on the posters because I wanted it to feel like this was taking place in a universe that's similar to Earth, but not Earth with like an kind of an alien language or something. For the ground, I really tried my best to figure out what I was going to do. I was thinking of drawing some pebbles, doing some texture, and I decided on some oil stains in the alleyway just to make it look a little bit more dingy <laughs> and interesting. And so I put a, a brown color on top of the gray, and I think it turned out pretty good. I darkened up the shadow underneath the trash can because I felt like it needed a little bit more contrast and then I did some finishing touches. And so for the finishing touches, I really wanted to make the trash can stand out from the background just a little bit better. So I used my white jelly roll pen to outline some of the sides of the can and to make it look a little bit more shiny and the wings to really make them look like they're popping off from the rest of the background. So the final touch of this comic is me scanning this comic into the computer and doing some digital fixes on it. I was debating whether or not I wanted to have the text on the final comic and I decided that it told the story without the text and so it was kind of unnecessary so I, I left that part out and I just cleaned up some of the edges. I adjusted the colors and the contrast and the brightness to make it look as accurate to, to life as possible on digital screens and then I cropped it and I posted it to my Instagram page. And if you aren't following me yet on Instagram, go ahead and check out my Instagram. My handle is lilydoesartyt. The YT stands for YouTube. Anyway, so this is the final piece. Um, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think that making comics is super fun and I want to do a lot more of this kind of stuff in the future. Possibly doing some comics digitally or maybe investing in some Copic markers and making some more comics like this. I think that this little trash can character was a very cute idea that I had when I was a kid and I am very happy with how I took him and, you know, made him a little bit more significant in my art these days. Anyway, I just want to thank you so much for watching my video. And if you make any comics, go ahead and tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. All right, have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye.